Good morning, everybody. Good morning, world. And everybody that's catching this on the recording, whether you're catching this in the morning time, nighttime, evening time, it doesn't matter. But you now you're here and you are thankful for that you are because this is Thankful Thursday. Every day we're getting up with the new intentions and new vibrations and that frequency because we're setting the intentions of what we want to do today. Some people set their intentions at nighttime for what they need to do today, their highest priorities. I wait till the morning time to set my intentions because at night, I say thank you for everything that I was able to accomplish that day, that day. And then that way, when I go to sleep, I ask for the peacefulness within myself and this physical body so I can be ready for today to be able to have the energy to have those jumper cables connected to my nipples and ready to rock this baby out. Why? Because this is the energy that I want to give back to the world that I am connected with every day when I tune into source energy before I start my day. Once I get in there and I grab that energy and I connect with those frequency levels that I talk about all the time and I get in my alignment before. I even start my day to get out here and be able to come in to do the things that I need to. I know what my priorities are and what I need to take care of. And I think of the vibrations and the happiness that I'm going to have within myself once I'm able to accomplish one of those goals. Then it's like, hey, at a boy, we accomplished one thing. Now let's head towards that next. Then once I get those three top priorities taken care of, by then it should be lunchtime and I am happy as heck and I can go eat dinner and I am grateful that I was able to accomplish those things that I set in my highest priorities today. Now the rest of the day, I know I can flow with the goals that I had set for the rest of the day. So if I complete those, it's cool. But if I don't, I know I can put those on the list for tomorrow to put those up on priority. So just know each day we're getting it in here into this life and we're designing it. We're the one that's bringing everything to the table of where we want to go and the emotions and the feelings that we want to have throughout it. Does people intentionally get up and say, I'm going to be a grumpy old bastard each day? No, that's not an intention. That's a feeling. That's an emotion that that person put into his own self. You know, so we get up and we tell everybody to have a good life, to have fun with your life, to enjoy the journey of the unfolding of the things that you're asking for. Will you get everything that you want today that you said that you were going to be able to accomplish? Probably not but yet you have worked towards it and you move towards it. So that is an accomplishment, a win-win in itself, because you have done something for you to move your life into a whole different direction, a whole new vibration. So you can be grateful that you have done something, that you had the physical ability. You was able to breathe when you woke up this morning as well. You have the heart that's still beating today. So these, what, how many miles of blood vessels do you have within you that you have this stuff that's going to be pumping all day throughout this body, this machine, this awesomeness that you have within you, a computer system that nobody else controls but you. You are the one that's in control of the typewriter, just like you were the one in control of the one on the phone, correct? Now, Take that phone, set it aside, focus on you for a little while each day. Give yourself a 15 minute or a 30 minute break to sit down and actually get in tune with you and say, okay, my day is going in and good vibrations, or I need to re release some energy of some things that came in emotional wise that I need to release today. And I need to release it now because I now understand that I can, when a bad emotion is coming, just know you can feel it when it's coming and you can do something about it before it even gets to you. You can either remove yourself latitude wise so you don't end up with that bad attitude that's fixing to come at you because of this negativity of some shape form or fashion so it could be family it could be co-workers it could be life in general something so just know that you can catch that bad vibration and block it and move yourself into a better vibrational state and knowing that you can handle and control every situation that comes within your life because you are we are problem solvers because the only person that can truly solve your own problem is the one that you're looking at in the mirror, the one that needs to break down, the one that brought the problem to you. You are the one that brought the problem within you because of the thoughts that you thought may have been months, years ago. Just like your dreams that are coming and manifesting within your hands and within your life today. And it's like, oh, oh yeah, I remember thinking about this months ago or years ago or, you know, just a couple of weeks ago. Wow, I've already got it in my hands. This is pretty cool. Why? Because you thought about it, which turned into a dream, which turned into a you know, reality in this now time space reality. So that is the power that we all have, but yet we aren't understanding how we are truly harnessing that power or how we're making it happen. You're putting it because it was a good emotion. It was a good feeling in that night that it happened and you seen it. And then that you were able to, you know, let's say a buddy has a, a nice ride and then you go for a ride with him and it's like, Oh man, this is a nice car. I'd like to have something like this, you know? So what did you do? You just, projected a rocket to the universe saying, I'd like to have something like this. So here you are a few months later or a few years later driving something comfortable. And it's like, Hey, I remember my buddy's car. 
this makes me feel like it did that night. That happiness feeling that I had when I was riding with him, now I'm behind the wheel. So how much more happiness is that elevation level? A little bit higher, isn't it? Because it's now yours and you're driving it. And now you got your foot on the pedal. So now are you doing a burnout? Do you have the foot on the brake and the pedal at the same time with your life? Are you sitting in one spot just burning those wheels but don't know where to go with all this power that you now have at your fingertips and at your hand and, and in life? Get off the brake, people. You're the one that's got the brake on your life. Get off of it. Put that foot on the gas and let's ride this baby because we only live once. You know? Roll on, oh, with your, roll on with your vibrations. Let's make this shit happen every day. Because you are the one that has this energy. You are the one that is, can put this attentions and the focus in your dreams and dream bigger. Because if somebody tells you your dreams are so big, no, yours are too small. I dream big for my life. If you're dreaming small for yours, keep dreaming small for yours. I dream for bigger things for me. I see bigger places for me and my family and places we're going and things that's happening in my bank accounts and my love, my love account that I have within my heart. I see that bank account just overflowing every day. I see my bank account overflowing every day. I see my friendships and, and my business and my empires and my creativity growing every day because I don't harness my creativity anymore. For so many years as children, we're creative and they tell you, quit being creative, you know, you quit being daydreamers. You got to get into the world of reality, go to work, get a job, get insurance, you know, be responsible. Who's truly responsible? I'm responsible for me. That's all responsible for me and the things that I do and the places I go. My son, son's at a crossroads in his life right now, and he made a stand yesterday for himself. Best day. Whew. It's a good day to have a good day, guys. Good energy, good flows, good life, good love. What are you putting out? What are you bringing to the table? What are you leaving on the table for you? Are you taking care of you first? If not, you may need to rethink something, reevaluate where you wanted to go with your life. I love these talks. Go ahead, Miss Jan. I see you got your hand up. Wow, Thomas, you are on fire today. Get those booster cables and connect them to your nipples. <laughs> I just wanted to say really quick on talking about the feeling part. I remember talking to Selena and a couple of people yesterday about that. And a lot of the time, like, we need to go back to basics like we did when we were kids, when we created stuff, when we had fun, when we used imagination, because all of that is part of your feeling. And like you said, once you live in that elevated feeling of this is where I want to be and this is how I feel, I can taste it. I, you know, imagine myself traveling or imagine myself doing whatever, setting up your family. What is that feeling behind it? Then it's just everything aligned. So I love it. Don't forget your creative mind. Don't forget to use your imagination. And most of all, just be in a sense of feeling. Boom. Brother Julio. To jump on board with that, you know, um, Thomas, when, when you said the whole uh, jumper cables to the nipple thing, I pictured the whole scene from Rambo. <laughs> 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 I pictured that whole scene. I, I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, you know, but but what potential is locked inside the average indiv individual? You know, I was listening to uh, some Dr. Uh, Miles Monroe, and he was discussing how, um, you know, because of the world that we live in, because of the society that we live in, you know, the average individual, all they have to do is excel 1% past what everybody else is doing. And they're, they're, they're to be labeled a genius or wow, did you see what Julio did? Wow, did you see what Thomas did? Or Thomas is doing this or Jen is doing all of these great things and, and whatever the case may be, you know? And all she really did was elevate her personal individual game. She just said, okay, I'm not gonna be average. I'm, I'm gonna do something outside of the ordinary, you know? And, and at that, and she was labeled as extraordinary or Thomas is labeled as, as extraordinary just because you elevated your game as an individual, just because you elevate and you did something that was outside of the box. You, you decided to step outside of your comfort zone or you decided to, to do something that everybody else is not doing. You know, so the second you as an individual stop 
and say, okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, live life willy nilly, so to speak. I'm going to be intentional about my day. I'm going to see the purpose in situations. I'm going to look for opportunities. I'm going to start to look at situations and circumstances from a different perspective, you know, and I'm going to see outside the box and realize that there was no box to even begin with. You know, when, when you do that in itself, you begin to see more. And in, in that, you realize your own potential. You realize stuff that has been locked inside of you. You realize things that you that have been there all the time, because Thomas says it all the time. You know, these things have been there for some of the stuff we talk about. It's the concepts that we mentally explore. It's It's been around for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, but people aren't practicing them or people aren't realizing them or people don't take the time to study what are these practices well well why did that work or why does this not work or whatever the case may be like it's not it's not new that we're bringing to the forefront it's about us bringing visibility bringing about awareness to it and making it practical for you for me and for everybody else and the second that you do that you begin to i want to say you begin to use more than your 10 percent of the brain that they say we only use you know you begin to realize that there's more inside of you. You know, Jen was re- referencing, you know, uh, 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 you know, realizing that the more in an individual, you know, whatever this tapped into you, like you, you begin to step into that. What is that? That's potential. That's growth. That's maturity. That's fruitfulness. You know, that we've, we've talked about this in, in this past week, Thomas, in the last seven days on, on, you know, what, it, who's to say you guys aren't the next inventors of, or of that or of something you know that that man has yet to experience a new app or some new software or you know we are trailblazing guys so I, I i feel blessed to be you know some people go oh i would have loved to have been in that era and been born in this era and whatever i'm happy to be exactly where i'm at right now i'm happy to be in in, in this era you know and, and the technology the era where we can just not reach one person and two people or a group of, of 20, 30 people, but we could reach thousands and millions of people just by connecting here online, just by connecting in a morning Zoom, just by connecting using social media or using YouTube or using the many, many resources that are our, at, at our, you know, our, at, at, that are at our availability. You know, it, it's at our fingertips, exactly. It's at our fingertips, guys. You know, and, and stopping each day to, to tune in to yourself and pay attention to yourself and the greatness that's locked inside of you that's trapped, guys. It is trapped because we're so busy doing so many other things that we're not stopping. You know, Jen was talking about it yesterday. I referenced it yesterday, that peace, that stillness. You know, we're always here, there, and everywhere. Um, Thomas has been referencing it for, for the last seven months, eight months. You know, as far as as not living life on the willy nilly, but but being, you know, uh, uh, paying attention to to the spirit that is inside of you, paying attention to that greater you, not not running here and running there and being torn in twenty million different directions, you know, but stating your intention. He just spoke about it a second ago. He said it differently, but he he just spoke about it, you know, a second ago. And being intentional about your day and being intentional about your time, stating your intent for the day, stating your intent and and, and at that, setting those goals and knocking out those goals and then seeing what's possible. See, I, I think people in general, we get so overwhelmed with life, with everything that we have to do, whether it be personal, relationship, business, work, whatever. We get so, and we looked at everything full spectrum. And is that important? Sure. It's good. To go, okay, well, these are all the things, but can you be dedicated to one specific thing? Can you give one specific thing your full attention versus, you know, um, multitasking? It's been proven, guys. You may be able to function and do it, but you're not retaining. You're no, just trying, you? Yeah, you're, you're not focusing. You're kind of just, you're here, there, and everywhere. There's no, there's no real intel. Oh, I'm trying to get more stuff done. Well, are you getting it done to the best of your ability? No, because... You're, you're, you're separated. You're, you're, half of you is here, half of you is there, another part of you is back here. You know, you have this to do and that to do. And we look at our full spectrum of everything we have to do every single day and we go, wow, this is a lot of stuff. And we get overwhelmed. Instead of being intentional and we'll say, I got all of this and all of these things are great and I'll get to that and I'll get to all of these things. But let me just focus on this one aspect. 
Let me just focus on this one goal. And then before you know it, you got two and three and four and five things knocked out. And like Thomas was just stating a few moments ago, then you're able to, li you know, live your day out and do other things or you're not able to, to and go past that 1% and thinking and go, now you're at 2%. Now you're at 3% past 10%. You got 13% of operating in your brain and 14% of it. And you're just growing, you're going. And then before you know it, you look back and you go, wow, I've come a long way. Wow, you know what? I've outgrown that situation. Or I've outgrown that job. Or I've outgrown this relationship. Or I've outgrown all of these things. And yeah, they serve the purpose. But that's for the past. And that's not where I'm going now. That's not where I'm headed. I'm on to bigger and better things. You know, so it's so important to be in tune, so important to be intentional throughout your day, so important to set the goal, so important to stay focused, you know, so important to drown out the noise, tap into yourself, guys, you have unlimited potential within you, unlimited potential, don't get me wrong, we don't have wings, and we can't just jump building and fly, there are limits, <laughs> there are limits to certain things we can do as human beings, in itself, outside of that, man, you know, you have to know that you are possible and anything is possible. You just have to believe that you can do it. Once you set your mind on it, anything is possible, guys. That's the reality. Love you, man. Oh, man. Lightning bolt. What? My little jumper cables to my little solar power battery ain't nothing compared to his lightning bolts. His energy he brings to the table every day, I love it. So that's what it's all about, guys. It's, it's getting connected, getting that vibration before he even started his day. He's off on the East Coast up and moving his life before I even get started up within mine. And then once I get in here and then, you know, he's already got his energy charged. He's already connected with his universe. He already knows that he's tapped into his day and he's rolling with it, you know, so he's already got it going, you know. So that's that's what I love about this worldwide community that you have right here because I am central. And then we have Canadian that's off over there, Miss Jen and, and a few others that are and uh, JJ off in Utardia that are up on the, the earlier side in the morning for them, you know, but yet we are all catching people across the world. Like he said, with a touch of a button to be able to bring this information out being recorded so it can go on YouTube. So it hits worldwide because we have the UK, we have New Zealand and, and Australia. We have people like that that are catching these videos and these lives because we're bringing information that people need to have people that need to be talking to themselves more. People need to go back into that mirror a little bit more and break down those demons that they've stacked in there for so long. So that's what this is about every morning is to give you a little bit better jolt of how you can kickstart your day and be thankful for it. Have a little fun on your wacky Wednesday and you know, this thankful Thursday. And then most people just live for Fridays. Well, we don't live for Friday. We live for every day because our heart is beating every day. So we get up and we put this intention out here every single day. And people say, y'all do this seven days a week. Yes. I live every day. So we will be doing this every day. Every day that my heart is beating, we will have this zoom link out. Why? Because we want everybody to be able to know that they can come to a place where they have love, support, energy, vibrations, and know that they have people across the world that are dealing with the same almost situations or bull crap within their life that they know that they're not the only person dealing with it now. There is people that have been in darkness for so long. I was there and know that you're not in darkness anymore. You have people that can show you how to live a better life, a different direction, and to bring energy and vibrations back into it to where it's supposed to be that happiness, that good life, that fun life. Miss Jen, I see you got your hand up, baby. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, we can take this going all day long. But I just wanted to say, like, first of all, boom, Julio, right on spot, man. Like, okay, so one thing that I realized, and I don't know if I told you guys this, but like three years ago when I was still in Calgary, you know, pretty busy city, right? A lot of bustle, a lot of oil and gas, a lot of downtown people and if you want to talk about staying in a box okay you could literally go sit at like rush hour sit five o'clock and i'm sure julio knows this in chicago or any other major city and you watch these people and they are literally walking zombies miserable as f walking to their to their house or to their job or just totally in this like trance and one thing that you know is so powerful is that when i'm talking to people and you guys are all talking to people, they look at us like we're crazy. Like, how are you guys so happy? How are you on this level of elevation? Like, what are you on? And it's like, we are not on anything, okay? We got ourselves out of that box, out of that norm, out of the, the boring routine of existing and zombified life. So yeah, I just need to say that. If you go and like watch people and just see how miserable they are, go do a cartwheel in the street. 
go take out those jumper cables and say, hey, you need a little boost to your nipples. You need a little boost to your life. Do what you need because they don't understand until they're in the spot we are, where we're having the time of our life. We're creating. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit of a headache, struggle, learning technical things or whatever. But at the end of the day, at least we're having fun. Not just that. One of the biggest things that came across me last night um, and kind of hit me with uh, one of the meetings I was in is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google, AdWord. I, any, there's all kinds of platforms that I probably don't even know names of that are out there that are apps like Julio said. What are those apps or what are these platforms doing or allowing us to do for free? Those people who complain that Facebook went down or I can't get my post out or my ads not going out or my video is not downloading or, you know, what's going on with YouTube or why isn't Google or why is this happening? Just remember this one little thing. <laughs> They're letting you do that shit for free. So enjoy it while it's out there. And if there are some technical things that change or shift up just a little bit, or they do an update or a new program that comes out and then things aren't in the same place or the location or this, that, and the other, don't go complaining. Start pressing buttons and find out where they put it because it's still going to be there. Just a different layout. But just know Plus we're evolving. We're continually evolving. So get with the times. Yes, stay with the times and understand that it is evolving. And yes, we are always learning. And if you're not learning, you're dying, you know, so you've just given up. So just know that this is a fun game that we're playing right here. This is fun that we can network like this across the world for free. Well, I mean, I pay for this Zoom platform, but that's okay. So I can stay for a longer period of time. You know, I don't have just that 45 minute window anymore. I know we can stay for longer if needed. So just know that these platforms that we're utilizing is helping us network our businesses or network us or network our life, brand things that we have going on to bring new stuff to the world that we couldn't done before. Because I don't live in Chicago and I'm not going door to door in Chicago to sell products and services. But yet it's a good thing that this social media platform is allowing us to put out social media stuff and advertisement and how to do it and how to do it correctly and properly and trainings that we have, you know, through the AI systems that are teaching people how to be the affiliate marketers. You know, so what we're doing here every day of bringing this energy back to our community. Why? Because we are support. We're supporting each other in every endeavor that they're taking. Everything that somebody has going on within their life. And we're here because we have these jumper cables connected to us called this social media network, this online world. We all have this jumper cable. That battery goes down low. What is the first thing we're doing? We're putting that cord to it. Now I want you to put that same kind of cord to your life. Not that cord. Put the cord that you was born with. Connect back with that. And have gratitude that you have this awesome mechanic system that was created. This was created. Each one of us. We all have our own thumbprints. No two are the same. Okay? So, now take that brand right there. And rock you out. Rock this world out. The only thing you're coming into this life with is a name. And the only thing you're going to go out of this life with is your name. So have respect with that name that you have, have respect within you, give yourself love, and then that will go out to the world and they will feel it, understand it, love it, and speak your name everywhere. Every time they go to the mirror, every time they put a pen in their mouth to make their self smile, what are they doing? They're thinking of Thomas. Every time they do a happy dance as they're going into the bank to deposit money, they're thinking of Thomas. Every time that they have shifted their life, their energy, their vibrations, a better emotions, better intentions within the morning. What are they doing? If they came here, they're thinking of Thomas. So every day, my ears are always burning because when there's a song that comes on the radio, something that made you laugh, something that's made you smile right quick, you're either going to think of me. When you go to a restaurant or to a grocery store and you go to see them double doors that open up when you step on a thing and then you all of a sudden open it for somebody, you're going to think of JJ. Why? Because that's a good vibration he has put out within here. That's a good energy that he has put out for something for you to do 
to make your day a little bit different by doing nothing but stepping on a daggum door plate to make it open for somebody and say, hey, let me get that for you. All he did was shift somebody's energy and his. So that's all we're doing here each day is letting you know that you can have fun with everything that you're doing within life. And if you're not, reevaluate. Go ahead, Brother JJ. Good morning, kids. Yeah, you know, the, the whole door opening thing, I was, I, as soon as uh, Jen talked about, about watching people and how they're literally just walking zombies, that's one of my favorite things to do because so often when, when that opportunity comes to open up that automatic door for people, they, uh, they're walking in like a zombie. You look over at them, you see that they're just walking in all dulled, gundrumed, and frown on their face, you know, God, I'm in, I'm in this horrible life of mine again today. And they're just literally zombieing it into the grocery store or whatever. And then all of a sudden you, you blast them with that. Hey, let me get that door for you. You know, and they just, like the zombie just gets blown up and the big smile comes on their face and, and it literally just shifts their day. It shifts your day. And, and it's exciting. It's fun doing that. I, I, I swear you guys, you got to try it. It's <laughs> every time I go into one of those kinds of stores, I always try to take the time to, to, um, you know, slow down, speed up, whatever, just to get in front of somebody so I can give myself that little jolt of electricity because, <laughs> you know, it's fun doing that. And, but I wanted to mention something, Thomas, because you, you mentioned a few minutes ago about, you know, being in here seven days a week, 365 days a year. You know, we were even in here on Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. And it was, it was pretty exciting doing it. And I talk to people all the time about this place and I'm always trying to get people to come in here, trying to help them understand. But they're always blown away that we could do something like this, 7, 365. It just blows their mind. And the thing I mentioned to all these people, and quite frankly, the reason I'm in here is because I need this, I need this positive jolt of energy every morning to help boost my day because of whatever the heck might be going on. You know, you need to boost your positive energy every day. And like Thomas said, plugging in that, that power cord, you know, this right here is, a, is an awesome power cord. But what I tell people and also what I tell myself on mornings, like, cause this is, this is something that's interesting for me. I've been, ever since I started drinking Condon water, I sleep so good. It is just amazing how I sleep now. I used to, tear the bed apart. I used to steal all the covers from my sweetie and all that kind of stuff. And now I just lay in the same spot on my back. I don't even snore. I just, and I'm out. And every morning, like this morning, when, when it was time to wake up, I was so tired. I was sleeping so good. And I did not want to get up. When you're just sleeping so good, you guys know what I'm talking about. When you're, you guys ever sleep so good that you just don't want to get up? Well, how, what makes me get up? This right here. This is what I tell everybody about this place. The reason we do it 7365 is because the millionaire mindset, it never, ever takes a day off. Ever. And being that having a millionaire mindset, that doesn't mean you got a million bucks in the bank. You don't even have to have a penny in the bank to have the millionaire mindset. And that's what you get running around this joint right here every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, kids. You get a nice jolt of the millionaire mindset every single day. And it never takes a day off. So get in here. Tell other people, get in here. You need some millionaire mindset. That's all I have to say about that, kids. That'll work. Yes. And it is a mindset. Everything that you have within your life and everything that you have ever done, you know, if you stop and look back on your life and the things that you have and have already accomplished or the things that you had dreamed of and you didn't accomplish, then why didn't you? What kind of mindset did you have? Did you look at the right side of the menu when you went to a nice restaurant? You know, somebody takes you there and you're dressing up, you're looking good, 
you know, you step inside and then everybody's treating you nice. You got a host that brings you the table, sets a napkin over your plate. How many of you ate a place like that? And then what was the first thing that you did? Did you look at the right side of the menu at the prices? Or did you look at the menu because you came to have a good time and enjoy the food and the quality and the um, service that you were about to receive? Because if you're about to receive a service that you go into a place like that, you're expecting quality service. So you don't mind paying for quality service when you're going for something like that. Just like that nice car you're driving made you feel good. Did you look at the price tag or did you say, you know what? I want it. I want to, I want to drive out of here with it. A nice dress in the store, a pair of shoes makes me feel good. I'm going to wear it. You know, I'm going to go get it. You know, women all the time, you go to the salon. Why? Because it makes you feel better the way your hair looks, the way you've colored it or permed it or straightened it or whatever. You did it because that's the way you makes you feel good. Do your life like that. Have fun with it in all shape, forms, or fashion. Give you the highest respect, the highest value on the market. You are the highest priced item on the menu. So when you go to talk to somebody, when you go to chase uh, somebody for the, you know, I want to talk to that girl at the end of the bar, but yet I think she's out of my league. And what did you do? You shot yourself on the foot and you'll never be able to talk to her. Me? I'm the highest piece of meat in this marketplace and she's going to want to go home with me if that was my mindset back in the day as a single man. You know? So if I'm going to go after something, I gave myself the highest regards. I'm the best on the best. You know? You want to you go shoot some guns? You want to shoot pool? You want to, uh, you know, go do the bow and arrows? You want things I've never done. But what did I put in my mindset? I was the best. Whether I sucked at it or not, it was okay. I gave it a try. And the whole time, I thought I was the best. I was the best basketball player. Shortest guy on the team. I can jump like Spud Webb. Yes, I'm the best guy on the table. I could only jump that far off the court. But I thought I was flying every time I got nowhere near the net. But yet, every time my hand seemed like I, I touched it. I touched it. But yet, I kept moving forward because I kept putting in my mind, I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. And I kept working at it. Kept working on my jumping ropes and kept working on my jumps in general and this, that, and the other. And then by the time I was a junior in high school, I was only five foot six, five foot eight, and I was slam dunking. Because I kept thinking I was the best. I was the best. Could I do it today? Probably not. I could probably only get about that far off the ground again, but that's okay. I'm still going to say I'm the best. I'm the richest person in the room every time I walk into a room. Give yourself that mindset. I have all the money I need to take care of everything that I want to do within my life. Money is not an object because I live with the mindset of that. All right, Miss Jen, I see you got your hand up, and then we're going to pass it off to Brother Ryan. Yeah, rapper Ryan. Yeah, I just wanted to say that, you know, when you were talking about the menu and you're talking about nice cars and clothes and all that stuff, that's unique to each person. Each person has their own thing that they desire. Each person wants whatever they want, whatever they want to create. When I look at everything in my life and I strip it all down to the basics, I'm, if everything were to fall apart, but I still had my community, I know that I would be fulfilled if that makes sense so everything else is just a little bit of icing on the cake I look at it but this the community the wonderful people in my life that is what gives me my heart full joy so thanks guys mm, thank you because you know she may not take it she may not put it out very much but yet for most of everybody that's on this screen and in this community is here because of her because of her energy, because of her vibrations, because of her intentions that she put of what she wanted to surround herself with. And she has nourished a lot of us to bring us up to the levels we're at. And I want to say thank you for that. Brother Ryan, you in the house? It's a yes, team sir. effort, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work, 100%. Yeah, guys, uh, I can't get away from the voice of knowledge here. I'm going to end up reading you this whole last chapter. It's, uh, this reading blew me away, so hope you enjoy. 
You can change your own story, but it begins with you, the main character of your story. You can transform yourself from a messenger of lies, fear, and destruction to a messenger of truth, love, and creation. When you return to the truth, the way you express yourself in society is much better. Your, commu your communication improves. Your creation is stronger and more powerful. In all directions, life as you know it changes for the better. You don't need to change the world, you need to change yourself. And you have to do it with have to do it your own way because you only have the possibility of knowing yourself. It's obvious that you cannot change the world, at least not yet, because the world is not prepared for the truth. You can only change yourself, but that is a big step. By returning to the truth, you take a big step for everybody else. The gates of heaven are open and heaven is waiting for you. But if you don't enter heaven, it's because you believe that you are not worthy of heaven. You believe that you are not worthy of living in a place of truth, joy, and love. This is a lie. But if you believe it, that lie controls your story, and you cannot pass through the gates of heaven. The truth is not in the story. The truth is in the power that creates the story. That power is life. It is God. I discovered this long ago, and my hope is that you can understand what I'm saying. To really understand, it's not enough for, you, for your reasoning mind to say, oh yes, it's true, it's logical. No, you need to understand with your heart. I really wish that you would take this into your heart because it can change your whole life. Don't believe me with your head, but feel what I am saying with your heart. Focus your attention on what you feel and what you will perceive is your own integrity speaking to you. What is the truth? And a very powerful part, you can recognize the truth. Believe in your heart. Much love, Sam. Much love. Did y'all feel the power in that? Did y'all feel the power in that book that he just read and a message that we gave this morning about intentions within your heart, giving you the value, knowing that you are the power, that you are the creator, you are the source, you're the one that can move worlds and mountains, yet you just need to believe within yourself to do that. Because once you believe within you and everything that you're doing and the places that you're going, you have that God particle within you and you are a part of this creation that's going on within your life. Each and every day, each step that you're making, y'all are co-creating together. And we are all co-creating together, moving our lives into new directions. Wow, powerful, powerful message today, guys. Powerful energy, so deep and, and so loving right there in everything that we do. All right, Miss Shannon, we're going to wrap this up with you this morning with affirmations that she brings from New York, straight from her heart. Great message today of being able to love and give value to yourself. So if you're not driving, take a moment, take a breath, receive the words that she's about to give us. Go ahead, Michelle. Good morning, everybody. I am thankful to the universe for everything in my life. The world may not always be easy to live in, but I am thankful for another chance to be here, to breathe, to choose my direction and to love and be loved. I am intent on highlighting the positive and offering the light I have to give to the world. I am making the most of this lifetime because it is my life after all. Making the most of the lifetime because it is your life after all. I love that. It is your life, guys. Evaluate it. Check it out. If you need assistance and guidance on it, message us. We'll help you and assist you and guide you in the right direction that'll best fit for you. Love and appreciate you all. Thank you all for coming out today. We'll see you all tomorrow.